Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. It's 2024. Glory to God. I'm excited. I'm so, so excited to be alive in 2024. Happy New Year, children. It's a beautiful year. The Lord is good to us. Yes, it's our year of good tidings. And this is the year the Lord has made. Children, we will choose to rejoice and be glad in this year. Hallelujah. Welcome to another time of Bible adventure. And today we'll be talking about baby Jesus dedication. Dedication. Hmm. Big word dedication. Let's break it down. Are we ready? We are going to clap the syllables, children. Ready? Let's go. Dead E K Shun. Wow, what did I clap? Four syllables. Let's go again. Dead E K Shun. Well done. Dead E K Shun. Good job. Four syllables. So you can pronounce the big word when we clap it as syllables. Dedication. What does it mean really? What does dedication mean? Hmm. It means to set apart. It means to present to. Hmm. Set apart or present to. So baby Jesus was dedicated. Baby Jesus was presented, it was dedicated to God. I'll tell you more when we pray and dance. Hands together, children. Heads bowed and eyes closed. Father, we give you praise. Father, we thank you for this beautiful year you have made. Thank you for making us see 2024. This is the first Sunday in 2024 and we are so excited, Lord Jesus for counting us worthy, O oh God, to see this beautiful year. We commit it into your hands, Lord Jesus. We decree and declare it is a beautiful year indeed in Jesus' name. Lord, you will go ahead of us into this year, make every crooked way straight, and make all things beautiful for us. Thank you for the Bible story, because you will give us understanding. You will speak to our teacher, and you will grant us understanding. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's go give God some quality dance and praise. You know why? Because it's 2024. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
beautiful dancing and giving God praise. God loves to yell, sing, clap and dance to him. And I'm sure you did just that. God is happy with us when we give him praise and worship him. Glory to God. So as I said before we went on the break, I said today we'll be talking about baby Jesus dedication. So after Mary and Joseph had baby Jesus in the manger, you remember? And then they took care of baby Jesus and they were taking care of him and taking care of him. And at a point they decided to take him to the temple, to church, to dedicate him to God, to give him to God and say, God, we bring him to you, we set him apart for your use. Preserve him, keep him. Because anything that is dedicated to God is preserved and kept by God. So, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Joseph, the father of Jesus, went to the temple to dedicate baby Jesus. Now, when they got to the temple, they met an old man, a very old man there. And the man walked up to them. He was so excited. And he collected, he took baby Jesus from them and carried him. And looked at him and said, This is a special baby. This baby is going to save the world. This is the baby God told me that it will ensure, it will make sure I see before I go and rest before I die. Now the scripture is being fulfilled. I've seen the baby. I can go and rest now. Because there was a prophecy. God had told him that he was going to see baby Jesus and tell people about him before he dies. And that was what he was waiting for. So immediately he saw Mary and Joseph. He knew that was the king they were carrying, baby Jesus. And he carried the baby and said beautiful things about the baby. He said he was going to be the savior of the world. And Mary and Joseph were looking at themselves like this. What? Wow. Our son, savior, they were shocked. And he said so many great things about Jesus. And then there was someone else that was in the temple. Her name is prophetess Anna. Anna also saw baby Jesus and spoke beautiful things about Jesus. That he was the savior, he was coming to save the world, he would do great things. He said so many beautiful things about Jesus. And Mary and Joseph were so excited that their son, baby Jesus, was going to do great things. And they dedicated him to God and said, God, this is our baby we present to you keep him use him hmm. and that was it they set jesus apart for the use of god and that was how baby jesus was dedicated to god guess what children do you know we can also dedicate hmm and you for me how dedicate we don't even have babies how can we dedicate guess what can dedicate anything new to god anything that is ours we can set it apart and say God use you can dedicate your talent you can dedicate this beautiful 2024 this new year and say God I present to you this year lead me throughout this year I dedicate it to you take control of it you can dedicate your talent you can sing God I dedicate my voice to you my voice let it just praise you hallelujah you can dedicate your gift. You could have any gift. You can dedicate it to God to use. You can dedicate your goals. This is a new year. You might have told mommy some things you want to achieve. Mommy, I want to lace my shoe. I don't do my shoe. I don't button up by myself. This year I want to be able to do it by myself. I want to be able to lace my shoe. I want to ride my bicycle. You have goals. I want to be able to pray more. I want to be able to sing. I want to be able to answer my Bible questions in, in, in Bible study. Whatever it is, you can say to God, Lord, I dedicate this to you. 
I dedicate it to you. I set apart to you. I present to you. Help me. Keep these things for me. Help me to actualize it. Help me to achieve all these things I want to do. That's it. And that's how dedication applies to us. Like in Desta, every first Sunday, we do Thanksgiving. And you see mommies and daddies that have new babies, they bring their babies to church and they dance. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And they dedicate their baby to God and pastor prays for their baby. It's a beautiful thing, just like baby Jesus was dedicated to God. I'm sure you had a nice time hearing this Bible story about the dedication of baby Jesus. Baby Jesus was brought to the temple. Let me recap. He was brought to the temple, which is the church. He was presented to God. The parents met two people in the temple, Simon and Anna, and they said beautiful things about baby Jesus. Beautiful things. And the parents were very happy. And the parents presented Jesus to God. And that was how baby Jesus was dedicated to God. And as I said to you children, you can also dedicate your goals to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, for our creativity time, we are going to draw our goals. If you can write, you can or you can tell mom to help you write. Tie my shoelace. ride a bicycle you can tell them to ride for you you could just have the picture of your shoe a picture they can cut it for you and print out a picture of your bicycle whatever you want to achieve and then you just pray on it and say lord these are my goals and i dedicate them to you in this 2024 help me to be able to achieve them and that's it so every time you remember, you go to your goals, it can be pasted anywhere. You touch them, you lay your hands on them and say, I will achieve. And guess what? As you do, you can tick them. Oh, I can ride my bicycle now. Tick it. I can lace my shoe. Tick it. But children, know that anything that you dedicate to God is preserved by God. It is kept by God. Hallelujah. It's memory verse time. Like we learned in December, it's still the same memory verse. I'm sure we know it now. We can close our eyes and say it and demonstrate it. I'll remind you and then we'll do it together. It says, Unto us a child is born, he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Can we do it together now? Unto us a child is born, he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Where? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Well done, children. You're smart boys and girls. Roll it for yourselves. Roll, roll, and clap. Good job. So it's a beautiful 2024. And we trust God for beautiful things this year. We've committed this year 2024 to God and we know it will keep it for us. It will preserve it because we've set it aside for God and unto God. So this year is blessed in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for such a time as this in your presence. We give you all the praise. Thank you for 2024. Thank you for the lines that are falling for us in pleasant places. Thank you because all things work together for our good. Thank you because it is a beautiful year. Every month of the year is blessed. Every week of the year and every day of the year in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you've gone ahead of us, making every crooked way straight. We give you all the praise for this beautiful year. 
We worship and adore you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say amen. So turn to somebody and say to the person, Happy New Year. With a smile. Happy New Year. It's a blessed one. Till I come your way again, it's bye from here. Bye.